Hi, this is Charlie Sutterfield. Hey, I'm going to set up a central model, which is a model that several users can access, um, save a local copy, and do their work on their local copy, and then save it back to the central model. The way that I'm going to start this is to go to the Collaborate tab. Uh, I'm just in a blank project right now, and you can start in any project that you want. Uh, but I'm going to go to the Collaborate tab. And toward the left-hand end here, I have something called work sets. And work sets are um, kind of step one to creating a central model. Um, enabling work sharing is what I'm going to do. So I click on work sets. And this is the first time this has been done in this project. So it says you're about to enable work sharing. And I say, yep, I understand that. And uh, I'm going to share my levels and grids and uh, work set one. And I click OK. That's uh, what I need to do the first time through. And then Revit chugs along for a minute, <clears throat> and there we go. So now I'm in a window that I can use to assign more work sets. Uh, this can get really complicated. So for instance, if I want um, my employee number three to have access just to, say, the structural elements, I can set that up. Or if I want <clears throat> my outside um, HVAC engineer to only have access to uh, whatever, then I can set that up as a work set. Um, the recommendation at this point is to not do that yet. Let's keep it simple until you've got a good reason for doing something else. So in this work sets dialog box, don't do anything except press the OK button. Okay, so now I'm going to save this as a central file. And so I go up to the purple R, click the drop down. I'm going to do a save as, so I hover over that and slide into that flyout menu and a central file is a project file, that's fine, so I'm going to click on project and now I need to um, navigate to where this thing is going to live on my network. I'm going to click on my computer so that I can see my network, um, open one of my network drives, I happen to want to go um, on the Sinclair network, I'm going to go to the Revit sharing folder and then um, we'll just leave it in here that'll be just fine so uh, the next thing I need to do is to make sure that I add the word central to this so we want folks to know when they are opening this file that it is the central file that's important because we don't want them to um, be working in it. We want them to make a local copy and we'll do that in the next video. While I'm here I'm gonna hit the options button just to show you what happens in here. Um, notice that in a central file I've got more backups than normal. Uh, in a regular individual file you'll, pro you'll probably see the number three in that space uh, meaning that you'll have three backups and it rotates through those three. Uh, this one since it's a central there's probably more users and so it makes more backups up to 20. You can change that number if you need to. It'll impact your disk space a little bit. And then notice where it says work sharing. This is related to the fact that I turned on work sets. And remember it said you're about to work share. And I said OK. Um, so this is uh, checked by default because I have um, I've selected that option when I made it a work sharing file. So it knows that I want to make a central out of this. So you don't have to do anything in this window. I was just showing you uh, where it was and kind of where the controls are. So then I hit cancel in that just to get back out of it. And then I'm going to hit the save button. And that's going to save it as a central file. And then notice up at the top of my screen, once it's done chugging along here, now I can see that central is actually in the, the name of the file. It's a little hard to read because of my screen background, but um, trust me, it's up there. So that is making a central file, and then you want to close that file and uh, get the heck out of it. And notice now it's on my gray screen, and when people uh, go to open it, it's going to open as a um, new local file, and they want a local... Uh, they want to work locally and then synchronize. So we'll do that in the next video.